you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. Today's goals are to do an Instagram photo shoot and to do some gift wrapping today. If you guys did not watch Vlogmas Day 1, I did do some Black Friday shopping and got all of my Christmas shopping done early this year. So we're going to try to wrap those, but first, we're going to get all of my Instagram content for December. So basically, it's going to be a five in-body photos, which is, you know, me in the photo, and then five filler photos, which can be anything from, like, the Christmas trees to decor to jewelry, flat lays and I want to try to make it as Christmassy as possible considering that I'm only having 10 posts in December. So now that we're here and we're dressed, put together, we ate, medicated, did my vitamin C drink, now we're going to get into doing the Instagram photo shoot. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting with the first outfit of the day, I'm wearing this green top from Banana Republic and then also these blue jeans. These are seriously like my favorite jeans right now. I love the way that they fit and they feel so comfortable. They even have some stretch to them so that's a great plus. And then and as for, you know, my hair, makeup, and accessories, pretty much my hair was done with the Octo Curlers, like I said last night. And then today my makeup is Physicians Formula and Honey Bee Gardens. Are we surprised? No, because I wear them all the time. And then my earrings are from Maison Maru. I believe they're the infinite, like, huggy earrings. So now to do the photos, I'm probably going to move my mirror and all this stuff. I'll show you guys and basically show you guys how I set it up to actually get a blank wall for my photos. Believe it or not, this is where I take take like all of my Instagram photos so I usually move the mirror this mirror I'll move this and then this stand all of this is gonna go like over yonder and then I'm gonna bring my rain light right here and then I just stand over here and look pretty and cute and I take all of my photos just like that so yeah there and then usually if I do it over here in this corner I take everything off of my door and I will usually put it on the bed and then I will just use that as my blank canvas sometimes you know we gotta have a little mirror moment and I will take some photos in each mirror so I have this mirror I have this mirror, we got this one, and then we got that one. So we have a lot of mirrors in the room, but honestly, it's not a bad thing considering I need stuff to switch up my feet every once in a while. So with that being said, let's get all this stuff out of the way and let's get to it. So this is pretty much what it looks like when I take my photos. So pretty much I have the blank wall behind me and I like this because also when I'm wearing a color like, you know, green, it pops in the background. I'm going to do a time lapse on the iPad and show you guys my photos like I usually do. So let's try to get these knocked out as fast as possible because I am really tired today and I really don't feel like taking photos, but you know what? We're going to do it anyway. Laughing all the way. Bells on bobtail. And we're in outfit number two. So for this one, same jeans. This is what I keep calling the Candy Cane Ultimate Christmas Sweater. It's just so soft and comfy and cute. And I love the towel turtleneck that's on it too. It just adds to the cozy vibes. And then for my earrings, I switched them to the hoops from Sheila Fagil. So now what I'm doing is basically I'm taking photos back here, but off camera. So I don't give you guys everything the Vlogmas vlogs. And there's still a little bit of surprise. I'm also taking some photos by my Christmas tree, especially in this sweater. Like this is gorgeous. So after that we have three more outfits to go. Outfit number three. So for this one, we're doing the second red sweater. So this one has another one of those cowl nets, same jeans. And for my earrings, I'm so excited about this. I have to move closer to show you guys. So for these earrings, these are the star hoops from Sheila Fagil. And I'm obsessed with these. Like these are so freaking cute as a accent earring, like a major earring. And usually when I wear these, I don't put anything else with them because they're just so bold. I think that's the word I'm looking for. They're bold. But honestly, they're so pretty and I feel like they are perfect with this shirt. So now it's time to knock this outfit out. to outfit number four so for outfit number four we're wearing the same jeans this nude top this nice tan long sleeve shirt with a v-net and then as for my accessories i actually am doing earrings a necklace and two rings so i'll move a little bit closer to show you guys what's going on so for my necklace i'm wearing maison maru this is the bold rebel necklace i believe and then i'm wearing these pavoy hoops that i got off of amazon this ring is the juliet ring from maison maru and then this is the melody ring from Cambriel's Jewels. She no longer sells jewelry, but I still have her pieces and I still shout her out. So with this outfit, we are going to once again do it back there, do it over there, and we got one outfit to go. And 
and we're on our last outfit so I think I wore this shirt yesterday but I did wash it just to be able to wear it today so this is a simple three-quarter sleeve it's almost like a knit cabled kind of shirt with another v-neck and then for the accessories for this one oh also same jeans for the accessories for this one I'm wearing this photo necklace from pretty jewelry and then also this bracelet from inspire me bracelets aka inspiration company so it says you're a diamond dear they can't break you and I think it's really pretty like this bracelet is gorgeous like I love the bracelet so much if you don't know make sure to follow me down below all of my socials are linked below but without further ado let's get this last photo shoot done Alright, so all the insta fillers are taken so I got probably honestly more than I needed I think I took like 31 filler photos but I do that because sometimes certain filler photos just don't fit in with the feed so I take more filler photos and basically for each outfit I took photos like I said over here and then I also went back here and took them by the Christmas tree but now everything has been taken so the next step is to clean everything up and then I am going to be wrapping gifts because I need to do that sooner rather than later before everyone else like gets their stuff and does their shopping because I know everyone else in the household is doing their shopping in the near future but I want to get my stuff wrapped and I'm going to put it under my tree so that you know it's safe from all the dogs and the cats um but we have quite a mess going on here like we have this going on back here We've got stuff on the bed, ring lights, and then if we go over by the desk, yikes, the desk needs some help. And then everything else that I moved is over yonder. So with that being said, let's clean up my bedroom. We wish you a Merry Christmas. I just got done cleaning up the room and I decided to just hop into my Christmas PJ. So I'm wearing my I Believe shirt and my pants. I'll show you guys them in a moment. And I'm also drinking decaf in my cute little stitch cup. But right now it is officially time to get ready to wrap some gifts. I'm going to wrap some gifts and then we're going to go get dinner. And I think tomorrow is going to be like strictly a video editing day, which means tomorrow's Vlogmas vlog really might be pretty short. But now I'm going to show you guys the PJs that I'm wearing and then we're going to get to wrapping these Christmas gifts. Don't don't mind my shoes or my socks okay I never show my feet in anything but um for my shirt it is this I believe tee I think uh my best friend saw she and I each got matching ones from the thrift store so it just says I believe and it's a picture of Santa Claus and then these leggings are so cute I love these leggings they're so comfy pretty sure we got these from Walmart if you guys don't know Walmart has like the best Christmas festive leggings and they're super soft too and yes, on my shoes, I mean not on my shoes, on my feet, I am wearing chantless, aka moon slippers, moon slides, and two yellow socks that were once the same color, and now they're not. But we're not judging here, this is a no judgment zone, but yes, this is your girl's festive Christmas PJs for the day. For the gift wrapping supplies, first of all, we always need some transparent tape to tape the wrapping paper. Then we have a skinny Sharpie, that's essential. And then we went with this 25 pack of gift bows and we got these from Walmart. This is also from Walmart. They're 36 peel and stick gift tags. And of course I went with the dot and cat ones. I mean, look how cute those are. Those are adorable. And then we got the wrapping paper from Walmart too and it is Christmas trees. So without further ado, we're gonna take all of this and we're gonna decorate everything I got from five and below and get ready to gift wrap. I just finished wrapping everyone's gifts and I am so excited to finally have something under this tree and I feel like it just looks that much more Christmassy. So once again, here is my little Christmas tree and then I have all the gifts underneath it and everything is wrapped with a bow and a tag and I only had to use one different wrapping paper for the one back here coincidentally for our family friend Dallas um because I ran out of wrapping paper my wrapping skills are not great guys but you know what it is what it is we have wrapped gifts they cannot tell you know what is under here so that is great so now it is time to go some dinner because your girl is hungry and approaching hangry
I just finished eating dinner and now I have some video editing to do. I have half an hour to do as much video editing as I can, hopefully wrapping up the editing for the one video I'm working on. And then if I have time, I might edit a few of the Instagram photos because I realized tonight's post is actually supposed to be a filler post. And I actually can't start my feed, my winter feed, with the picture I wanted because then it would be a body photo and body photo and then a filler photo. I don't want that. So I might be editing one of the, like, candle and jewelry pictures I took. I don't think I took a screen recording of that one. But regardless, I'm probably going to edit that, get that ready to post because today is a posting day. And I also have to figure out which reel on TikTok I'm posting because I have no idea. So without further ado, let's get some work done and then we'll get ready to wind down for the night. I thought I'd switch it up tonight and show you guys my winter nighttime skincare routine. So first of all, I know it looks a little crazy with the headband, but I also have wash bands on. So I love these. So this helps keep my cleanser and water from getting in my hairline and these help from water dripping down my hands. I am that person, I hate it when water is just like falling down my arms and just if it's all over the bathroom, it's all over me and it's not fun. I love these. I will have both of these linked down below. They're two separate listings. I've been using the Leia Fenty Perfect Facial Cleansing Oil to remove my makeup. And when I wear makeup, I double cleanse my face. So then after that, I use the Leia Fenty Salicylic Acid Cleanser with green tea and vitamins. We move on to my night cream. So I said this in my last vlog, but I use the Simply Vital Collagen Retinol and Hyaluronic Acid Anti-Aging and Recovery Cream. Now I love this for a few reasons, but also first, cause look at this applicator. You just press it. And for me, that is the perfect amount of night cream for my face. I just take some and I'll put it on my face. Now what I really like about this one specifically is it doesn't just sit on top of my skin like it actually seeps into my skin. It seeps into my, into my pores. So I love the way that it makes my skin feel and it also gives my skin a nice glowy look when I'm done. It just feels so nice on my skin. Like I love this night cream so freaking much. It's not even funny. I just love this night cream so much. I don't know what it is. Just It's just such a good formula but also what I like is on the listing it said that it was gluten and lactose free then for my under eyes I use the elf skin holy hydration eye cream and it has hyaluronic acid as well and peptides I'm blind and I just take a little bit on my finger like this and then I just swoop it on my under eye and I use this in the morning and at night as you guys have seen and I just I love it it's a nice holy sensation my under eyes really are hydrated after using this and and it just makes me feel better. So then I just gently massage it into my under eyes. And then you have it. That is my nighttime winter skincare routine. Actually, hold that thought. Dumped everything. So really quickly go but going back to the point, I'm all over the place. I am so sorry. Usually what I do before I use the night cream is I go in with witch hazel. I totally skipped this part in my skincare routine. It's okay. It's not like it's not absolutely necessary. I don't use this every single night. Most nights, yes, my brain is fried. If you guys have any skincare questions or you guys have any questions about the products that I mentioned in this video, leave a comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And and now it is time to go journal and then wrap it up for the night. And this is the end of Vlogmas Day 4. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's Vlogmas vlog. And if you guys did, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss a future upload and give this video a smack it thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it. I really hope that you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. Honestly, I know it's been hectic. It's been all over the place. But so far, I feel like I've maintained my at least one Christmas-like activity a day so far. So we have 21 days to go. So excited. And with that being said, I'm going to get some shut-eye, sleep with the doggos, and I will see you guys bright and early in the morning morning tomorrow in vlogmas day five bye love you guys